All right guys, so here it is how to install snippet. From the title you can see it is for one plus git fresh install in Windows. Why are we using git for installing snippet? Because git is much more simpler to update and install. It is also recommended by snippet to use it. So let's show you how to install. Firstly, if you check in their manual, in the server configuration WAMP, you get to see what are needed to install. So you need to get 2012 Visual Studio uh, Visual C++, 2012 Update 4. Then you need to install both of this version, and then install 132-bit and install Composer. So right here are the websites. You can check in their website. You come into here. Just click download and install this too, right? After you've done it, you go to one server. In one server, go into one server tree. Now this one server is very tricky because in their website they say install 32 bit, but when you go into the one server homepage and go into their download page, it will show you they cannot find where is the 32 bit. So do not press this, it is only for 64-bit. If you do press it, then you cannot install the snippet properly. This is what happened to me many times. So you just go to one server tree. I'll go here and the modified date is this. Then in here, just scroll down, you should be able to see 86. Here it was 64, 86, click 86 and install it. Okay, so once you've done it, Install git. Here is the git. Just install normal. Just install here the composer. Then just go and click download. Inside here, just click composer setup dot execution, and that's it. It will install for you. So after you've done all of this, I will just put it in this folder here. So it's quite simple. So firstly, we will install this too. I've already installed. So there I should show you. Normally yours will be installed, mine is repair. And then you install 86. Just press install, mine is repair because I've already installed. So after installing this two, go into one server. Click yes, install it. Yes. Agree. Next. This is up to you which folder you want. Over here, remember if it has checked the highest, then you scroll down and check for the highest. So right here, MariaDB is, they have defaulted to the lowest. So just choose the highest. Then here is already the highest, then click next. Then next, install. That's it. So let's skip ahead. Okay, so once it's completed, it will ask you for uh, default browser to open it okay then the second thing is the notepad which notepad you like if I want to use the default notepad just press no right so one is done just go into composer install for all users recommended so it's up to you you want to install for one user or not so just press next now over here choose the highest mine is the highest php 7.49 next then next install that is all now over here you can restart do it more safer okay so after you're done just go into the warm server over here open the warm server it will be at the bottom right here you can see the warm server right here wait until this logo go green okay so it's green now just left click one click only then it will show you all this so first thing you need to do is change the version to the highest 7.49 that you have used the composer to configure okay so once done, wait for it to go green again. Click one time, go to my SQL. If you want, you can double check. So it's done, it's okay. So now let's go to my SQL. 
go to MySQL console. This is up to you. You can choose whichever password you want. Then here you can choose whatever password you want. Alright, so after you reach here, just go into the guide. The guide will show you the code. So what you just copy it, follow the guide over here, just copy it and paste it and then just run it. So you create a database and then another one will show the database whether is it done. Okay, so you can see the snippet right here in the database. That means it's done. So let's go into here. This will create the user. Snip user. You can change this to whichever user you want. But I will just stick to the default. Much more easier to do this in a test area. So right here again, you have to grant all on this database to this user at localhost. And then this is the password. So this is only used for testing. If you're going to do production, please change all of this. If not, it will be unsecured. Okay, so once you're done, now is this number four. Do not follow here if you're going to do a git install. So once you're done, just close it. Now, install git. Click yes. And next, next, and then yes. Then just choose next, 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 next. Uh, this one I want to use Notepad Plus Plus. Next, next, next. Actually, all this not really bother. Just leave it as default. Now here is the menu to install Git. Go to Misc. Go to switching to a git install and you see here in their manual it is recommending you to install snippet and keeping it up to date. So where to install it is here. Just copy this whole thing. Just copy it. Okay. Once you've done a copy it, just go into your folder. Go to C. Go to WAM. This is where your WAM is installed. Go to www. Delete all this. And right here, just shift and right click. Then you will click e Git Bash here. Then inside here, just paste this. And then over here, remember to change the folder name change this just right click new folder snippet give it a dash okay then inside here you also type in snippet dash it then you press enter and it should go inside here so let's just wait for it to finish and then you see a bunch of codes Wait until it's done, then you should be able to see something inside here. The git has completed. Now you see inside this folder again, you will see all the files are in here already. That is why they recommend you to use this because you don't have to download. It is automatically downloaded inside here when you run the script. Okay, so after this install via git, you go to server configuration, go to WAM, and then inside here, scroll down after number 4. Yeah, after this, go to edit env.example. So just follow this and change to whatever specification you want. Alright, so here you see a dumb path, db dumb path. Now here you follow here the SQL. So just follow this path going inside here. Everyone may have different version depending on their WAM server. So you just go into WAM bin. Go to MySQL, 
mysql bin and just copy this whole path in here okay cancel off this all right so following this you must have double dash if not the key generator will not work after this let's see all right so we are done now here double dash double slash all right so double slash okay so once you're done just close this go to file go to save as and then save as dot env following how it works so you save, save so over here dot env save it then you check again dot env okay so once you're done now we copy this and then inside here shift right click and open powershell and then do the composer install this will take very long maybe 30 minutes to one hour or even more depending on your computer and network so just be patient, drink some tea, and relax. Okay, so after you have completed this task, go and do this to generate your key. Okay, then click enter and it will generate for you the key. Just click yes and enter, then it's generated you be in your .env file inside so I will not show you the key but the key is here this is unique key it's key for decrypting and encrypting your database now after this go into your WAMP your WAMP server httpd .conf right inside here you need to search is so just search for user daemon it's much more easier user daemon okay so you should be able to find here then it's underneath the if module now if snippet is watching this please uh, edit this with this whole code because it is not because I'm lazy but because if you are to type this manually the chances of you getting it wrong is very high and then you'll be frustrated that it is wrong and you have no idea what why your snippet is not working now change this directory your document root and your server name Make sure you put it to your computer name and then save it once you've saved it just close it and you just restart it it should work restart enter and you should be able to see okay so you will see all the validation here so if all correct then you can you are good to go now in this email here you have to change inside your .env for it to send you a test but you can actually do it later on no problem so when you click next you just have to wait for it to create the database then it will change it here so you can see the top here it's loading okay so once it's completed you see this message just create user then complete this whole form once you're done with the form you just press next to save after you have completed you will see this dashboard then that means you're done but let us try the settings go to backup and let's test this out first because sometimes it doesn't generate the backup so it's better you test the backup first then you should be able to see success and you should be able to see this appear now you check in the folder from here apps backups 
so the backup file will be in storage app backup then you should be able to see your zip file exactly named here 2021 blah blah 33 okay so that means you are done you have completed everything now you are able to rock and roll thank you all for watching famous cyber Ramers signing out click subscribe if you haven't click like go to the end of my video and click the playlist in the playlist there are all my videos all at the corner and the right side so thank you all for watching